Heidi here, Texas Art and Soul, and I am, oh man, I'm gonna redo this because somehow I pushed the wrong button and then all my words and lettering was backwards. So I'm going to redo this for y'all. Um, so welcome, if you've never been here before, um, I am teaching how to make a family um, chalkboard for like your recipes, uh, not recipes, but your menu for the week. So if you're just new to me, I'm gonna do a short Bible study and then also be painting in some of the lettering for this. Now this is going to be a several um, several day project. So if you miss the first step, um, you can go back on my Facebook Live and watch how I did all of this, how I got to this part. And then I am actually using a sea breeze color. So if you are tuning in and you're new to me, welcome. Please tell me where you're from. Tell me if you're new or if you already know me and let me know. And I'm gonna be painting in um, the lettering for Monday. And then I'm going to be talking about something that I just feel like um, God has kind of laid on my heart. And I was gonna share in a blog post, which I'll probably do as well on my Texas Art and Soul, but I thought I might as well do it live too. So, okay, so we're gonna talk about what holds your identity. All right, so if you wanna put in the comments, and what I mean by that, and I'm using a really thin brush, um, it's called Creative Mark. It's a fine tip liner, size two. And I'm gonna be using this to go over, like on the, the left side of the words. And then also, if you wanna share this, sometimes I send happy mail. Um, I pick like one person and then just me and Pixie like to go shopping or I send you some of my favorite products. So just make sure if you share, just to put shared and then um, I'll know in the comments and I can pick somebody. So it is the honor system. So don't just put shared and not shared, please. That would not be nice. Okay, so we're gonna talk real quick about identity. Okay, so the reason we're talking about this is I have been a Jeep girl for 10 years. I have had three white Jeeps and I literally thought I was going to be 89 years old, still with my white Jeep and trucking along. Well, this year, my word of the year is all about obedience, okay? So if, you, um, if you've been following me or know me, you know, every year I pick a word of the year and, um, and mine is obedience. So if you have a word of the year, if you would please put it in the comments, I love hearing your words of the year. So mine is obedience and about three months ago, and guys, I like my identity is in my Jeep. I mean, like, I feel like, you know, it's like the paint party Jeep. It's what I, you know, carry all my stuff in. And um, does anybody relate to that with a vehicle or even like as a person, like, are you an athlete? Are you um, a mom? Are you a wife? Is your identity like tied in to those things? And if you can relate to that, just do a heart or put yes, if you understand what I'm talking about. And if you don't just put, no, you're crazy, Heidi. I have no idea. <laughs> just let me know. But I like literally had kind of my identity tied to this. And, you know, Jeeps are not cheap, you know? And, and my daughter just got braces, which are not cheap. And she's almost a teenager. And she's at the age where pretty much my Sunday shopping of groceries is gone by Monday, like by the time she gets home from school. So for those of you that have more than one kid, Oh my gosh, I have no idea how you do it. I just wanna say, congratulations, you deserve a prize. I do not know how you do it. Um, yeah, I, yeah, one kid and just the amount of food, she's growing one inch in four months. We keep on the wall here, we track it. And I'm like, well, no wonder she's hungry. She's literally growing so much. So, um, so with that being said, you know, it's just kind of been on my heart, like, okay, we're paying for all these things. She's in cheer. We're trying to get her in a bunch of different, like private lesson type stuff. And how can I, you know, make this happen and still make our family, you know, do well financially. And so about three or four months ago, it's like every time, you know, the Jeep wave, if you're a Jeep person, just put in the comments, you know, we have a Jeep wave, right? We always wave to each other. And, um, and about three or four months ago, every time I did that Jeep wave, I felt like, hmm, what's going on here, God? Like, 
why do I feel weird doing the Jeep wave? Like, these are my people. What is going on? And every time I did it, I just felt another push of like, I need to get rid of this Jeep. And I seriously, like, for 10 years, I've had three Jeeps and I literally tied my identity in it. And so when I first started telling my husband about it, he's like, he's like, no, you can't get rid of the Jeep. Like you run a paint party business and you need that. You need that for storage. You need that to haul your stuff. And, and you've had a Jeep, like that's who you are, you know? And I'm like, but I'm telling you, God's telling me something else. I, I can't tie my identity into that. And so, um, so today I just want to go over really quick. So first off, number one, if you feel comfortable sharing, I would love for you to, um, what holds your identity? Are you like a CrossFit queen? Like my best friend, she is so good at, you know, athlete. She's an athlete. She's a runner. She can do CrossFit. She can do all of these things. Um, are you, you know, into CrossFit? What is holding your identity? So number one, find that out. Okay. And then number two, how can you use your identity to show God's love? Okay, so yes, I'm an artist. Obviously, art is a part of my identity. And um, God gives us these gifts and he gives us these things. It says in the Bible, um, you know, many times about us receiving gifts and we're all doing something different, right? We all can't be the encourager. We all can't be, you know, um, these everything, right? Everybody has a purpose. So how could you use your identity or your gifts to serve God or to show God's love? So I want you to think about that too. And then um, number three, remembering that these gifts are for good. So I want to read to you 2 Corinthians 4.18. And please let me know in the comments. And those of y'all that are sharing, thank you so much. Um, I am just adding a highlight line with the sea breeze. So I'm just putting that on here. And again, this chalkboard project is going to take me a few different days and I'm going to have so much color on this. You will probably not even recognize it by the time it's done. So if you want to see the progress, I'll be doing, doing lives while I'm creating the progress. And the reason I chose to do these is because um, I got these from Michael's for a dollar. I'm going to use Velcro and actually attach them that way on my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because I don't want, um, this wood that I bought at Lowe's was only like $10 and it has a lot of grooves in it. And if I, and if you haven't seen how I created the first part, go back to my videos. I just did it yesterday. So you can see the first part yesterday. Um, but but basically I wanted to be able to Velcro these and I'm going to put the whiteboard paint on here and um, so that whenever I go in here, it doesn't go like all into the grooves. Okay. So I just want to really quick read to you 2 Corinthians 4, 18. And this is kind of part of what we talked about with, you know, how we tie our identity to things. And um, this says, um, 2 Corinthians 4, 18, things that are not seen don't last forever, but things that are not, wait, let me reverse that. Hold on. Let me try again. Things that are seen don't last forever, but things that are not seen are eternal. That's why we keep our minds on the things that cannot be seen. 2 Corinthians 4.18. So I'm um, going back to me holding my identity in my Jeep. And, um, you know, it was like I literally thought I would be driving that forever. And so whenever um, I started the process of kind of telling my husband, you know, I think I'm supposed to get rid of this. Like it's you know, I know it's a part of me. I know I feel like it's who I am, but I feel like God's telling me I need to get rid of this now. And so um, finally we got on board. He got on board and we started going to look and I found the cutest little car. And oh my gosh, I for 10 years have been paying, you know, 16 uh, miles to the gallon for gas. This thing gets like 38 miles to the gallon. And um, it's this cute little Veloster. And I have it now with 25 people set up to paint tonight, all packed in the back of that and still had room for Pixie to go to school. And so I think sometimes we think, oh my gosh, I'm going to go teach a paint party or I have a paint party business. Now I have to, you know, buy this big vehicle for it, or I have to have a van to make it happen. No, guys, use what you have. Start wherever you're at. You know, anytime I, I teach people about paint party business, it's always about a profit every party, every time. And so I just really felt like I needed to come on here and talk to y'all about just, you know, your identity. 
Um, what are you putting your identity in? You know, is it a car? Is it things? Is it you being a super mom? Is it you being um, an athlete? You know, what is that identity? And instead of putting all of our identity into things or being an artist or whatever it is, put our identity into God and then try to use that to show God's love through art, show God's love through being an athlete, show God's love through being a mom, and um, however you can do that, you know, whatever God's gifts are for you. So anyway, if you like this message, if you want me to do more of these, y'all know I use the Bible and kids Jesus calling. <laughs> if you, um, I, it's just simple. It's just easy, straight to the point, And I know what they're saying and it makes sense to me. I think Sometimes we try to make everything so difficult and then it's just too much. So if you are interested in watching me complete the menu board, um, I would love for you to watch the video I did yesterday. It's all about how I got from this point. So I show you the whole process of the vinyling. I talk about where I got the wood. I talk about what paint I'm using. And then again, like I said, I'm gonna be doing this over the next several days. So if you share this, um, please let me know. I'm gonna send somebody happy mail. And then if you are doing paint parties, we had a lovely person in our paint party headquarters um, group who suggested this. So I just had to paint one last night because I was so excited about it. Um, her name's Carletta. And basically when you're teaching a paint party, you can, instead of just taking the group picture, you can either have somebody hold this or you can go jump in the group picture and smile. Now you have your logo on your paint party event. So I hope that helps some of y'all. All right, let me know if you like this. Let me know what you're holding as your identity. And um, yeah, let's go from there. Y'all have a great day.